Hi, on behalf of Genuotech and the Pulse team, I'd like to welcome you to this demo of the Pulse 3.0 Explorer. My name is Jed Anderson, and I'll be giving you uh, an overview of the changes. So the first thing you'll notice is we've split out the My Profiles from the Explore tree. Um, this gives you better visibility and control uh, of your profiles. I'm going to add a profile here for a new project I'm working on called Capybara. And one of the new features in the uh, profile section is the ability to categorize your profile. So you can group, create logical groups of profiles. So I'm going to create a category here and drop the profile into it. So we've pulled out a lot of the hidden information and put it into these tabs on the right hand side now. Um, so the summary of software section, that's going to show you all of the software that is uh, installed or is ready to be installed on your profile. The updates available section are going to sh is going to show you the changes uh, that need to happen to your profile due to software being released to update sites or because of changes that uh, somebody who shares the profile with you has made. The quick ads section is just a one-click ad software to your profile. makes it easy to add some of the common things. About this profile gives you metadata and the ability to sync with the server right now. We've got three install buttons down in the lower right, upper right, and over in the My Profiles section. So it used to be to add software you had to come over here, drag, drop, and the software get added. And you can still do that. But now on the software tab you can actually get software straight from the software section. So here I'm adding Mylin and some related software. And that's just a double click. It shows up on the right. You can view details on the right. Uh, maybe I didn't want the Jira, so I'll get rid of that. Another way you can add software is through public sites. So you can add your own update site and double click. If you do that, then you can actually pin down the version of the software. This is only for software that's uh, coming from an update site, but you can lock down versions that way. And then finally, you can you know, just do a, a search filter here and uh, mouse feed should come up in a second. There it is. Alright, so that's how you add software. Alright, on to collaboration. So, if you haven't shared the profile yet, you will see an overview. Uh, you can accept an invite, you can share with other people, or you can do team of one to just start customizing your profile. I'm going to add a uh, coworker Bob Lover here, and he is in fact a Pulse Lover. And Bob hasn't used the system yet, so I'll assign him a display name, but he can change that when he accepts this invite. On the next page, I could add him to a group if I felt like it. I'm going to skip that for now, but I will customize the email uh, that gets sent to Bob. Now, if you don't want to send an email, you don't have to, and that's what the checkbox in the lower left is for. Um, when you have users who have been using Pulse, they'll just get a notification if you don't send them a uh, notification through Pulse if you don't send them an email. All right, so now the collaboration page changes to show the different sections. The collaborative updates will show you changes coming from coworkers who have, or collaborators who have um, rights to change things. I'm going to add a VM argument here, and I can change the name of the uh, profile just for me. So Bob would see it as Capybara, but I'm going to see it as Capybara My Project. Um, I can import projects and working sets. This actually works better from the actual profile itself. Um, you can add projects that you have added to your your profile. And then I can also change um, which software is shared and which software is personal. So that's about it. Thanks for your time.